everyone. I'm glad you're here. Hope you're enjoying your day. Good morning. It is July 17th, 2024. So what's going to be the next pandemic where they shut everyone down, put us in lockdown, bankrupt the economy, bankrupt businesses, putting people out of work, bankrupting families? What is the next pandemic going to be? Currently, 70 poultry workers are being tested for H5N1 bird flu and a chicken farm in Colorado after multiple confirmed cases, state officials announced on Tuesday yesterday. The Center for Disease Control, CDC, had previously confirmed four cases and one probable case of the highly pathogenic bird flu at the farm in northeast Colorado. The workers were culling and disposing of infected chickens. Another 69 workers, all of whom had direct contact with the sick birds, are now being tested after reporting mild symptoms and have been instructed to isolate until their results come back. Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope everyone has a wonderful day and a blessed week. Thank you for joining me. Please like, share, and subscribe. They are saying that due to the extreme heat during the process of disposing of the chickens, it was around 40 degrees Celsius, which would be 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Workers found it difficult to wear their personal protective equipment. Nira Shah, the principal investigator of the CDC, told reporters this week, All of those under investigation and the workers who have tested positive for the virus have displayed mild symptoms, including pink eye, fever, chills, and coughing, but none of them have been hospitalized. Initial investigation does not indicate the virus has mutated to spread between humans, and the CDC is still considers the risk to the public low. The H5N1 virus was first discovered in 1997. I believe it was Hong Kong. That was May of that year, and no other cases were reported for six months. Then, in November November of December 1997, a second wave of the virus occurred, and an additional 17 cases were detected. The import of the chickens to Hong Kong came from mainland China. That was the only source of live poultry for Hong Kong. The virus has now spread to millions of animals globally since 2020. Hundreds of commercial poultry flocks in over 30 states have reported H5N1 or other types of bird flu since then, but only one poultry worker has tested positive for the virus before this year. The country is also dealing with an outbreak in dairy cattle affecting at least 150 52 herds in 13 states. Four dairy workers have contracted H5N1 this year um, in Michigan, Texas, and Colorado. Experts have speculated that the outbreaks could be linked possibly through the virus jumping from cattle back to birds. Colorado is among the state's hardest hit by the H5N1 outbreak in cattle, with at least 40 infected herds. Yeah, 40 in just Colorado. Wow. Initial analysis of the virus DNA uploaded to the database indicates that the infections at the chicken farms are similar to those in some, some dairy herds. The one human person that was infected with the virus contained clear marker for the virus from dairy cows. Either these workers also worked on dairy farms and got infected there, or this massive poultry outbreak is likely caused by the virus from dairy cows and then jumped to humans. They just don't know. More testing needs to be done. Experts have long considered avian influenza the top pandemic threat and have urged government worldwide to fortify their pandemic preparedness plans in case the virus becomes or begins to spread between humans, something the WHO has repeatedly stressed would be of an enormous concern. Yeah, it would be very uncomfortable to wear protective equipment in 104 
degree weather along with the humidity. Um, but why didn't they still wear the equipment and just take multiple breaks? Yeah, they did have to dispose of 1.8 million chickens. Many of those were infected with the H5N1 influenza. But why weren't they wearing goggles or N95 face masks? They're blaming the fans that blew feathers and other infected items throughout the uh, barn where they were disposing of the chickens. The workers that came down with symptoms were given the antiviral medication uh, Tamiflu. And like I said, none of them required hospitalization. Many farms have different types of protocol for sanitation so viruses aren't spread from one barn to another for all types of animals. Uh, why was that not enforced at that one farm there in Colorado? Officials said they do not know for sure how the N5N1 virus arrived at the Weld County Poultry Farm. Earlier this month, July, Colorado Governor Jared Polis issued a disaster emergency for the outbreak at the facility. It is the largest flock of chickens affected in the state and among the largest across the United States. Just days earlier, a dairy worker also in northeastern Colorado contracted bird flu, the state's first case while working with infected cows. I have not heard, I could be wrong, um, but there's been no fatalities from the cows once they catch the flu. Yeah, they're sick for a while and then they recover. So the current standard is that once any poultry on a farm is found to be infected with H5N1, the only way to contain the virus is to kill the entire flock. The USDA said that killing all 1.8 million chickens there at the farm could, could take up to two weeks. So why the rush? Why weren't they wearing goggles? Why were they not wearing N95 face masks? Uh, I don't buy it that the temperature was too hot. Did they even have enough face masks for all the workers? Around 160 workers inside the barn at the facility were tasked with um, pulling out chickens, placing several at a time in a cart that would then be filled with carbon dioxide, killing them in under a minute and a half. Now Shaw said that the temperatures inside the barn were even hotter than outside, which was 104 degrees. Workers were given light paper protective suits over their clothing. N95 respirators, goggles, boots, and gloves. Industrial fans pushed the air through the barns. Well, we now know that they, in fact, were not given um, the protective equipment, or they just didn't wear it, and it was not enforced to wear it. Who was responsible to make sure that the workers were wearing the equipment during the calling process? Does anyone know? If you do, please put that information down below. With the fans also blowing, spreading around the virus, um, yeah, better control of what they do, how they do it, uh, needs to be implemented. After they were infected, a 10-person CDC team, which included bi um, bilingual speakers and an industrial hygienist, arrived in Colorado. Now, this was Saturday to monitor and test workers and suggest safety improvements. Uh, I have lots of safety improvements. Um, what do you think um, they should do to improve safety? For right now, the Department of Health and Human Services Administration for Strategic Preparedness and Response, ASPR, is pushing ahead with production of millions of bird flu vaccine doses through July as part of a pre-pandemic stockpile. There is no recommendation yet for people to receive the vaccine, which has not been fully tested or approved for use. ASPR also distributed 5,000 goggles, 300,000 gloves, 150,000 N95 masks, 
and 528 doses of Tamiflu to Colorado. More than likely, too little, too late. I don't know. What do you think? Thank you for watching. Please like, please share. Keep informed. Knowledge is power. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.